Good morning. Thank you for watching. Another beautiful Lord's Day. We can fix and get some rain. Uh, got a little bit last night, and, and we need it really bad. So I'm very thankful for the rain. Um, this morning, we're going to get on our sick list. we got Lisa Simon, Nikki Alonzo, Brenda Elkins, Kathy Blair, Daphne Anderson, Ken Jones, Mary Mason, uh, Hillary Davenport, uh, Jimmy Mangle, Terry Parham, and uh, Terry's uh, going through some pretty bad stuff right now. Uh, please uh, keep him in your prayers. Um, Blenny Blair, Kathy Smith, Alice Davis, uh, Corey Davenport, uh, Faye Ferguson, Carolyn Zay, um, and we've got to send sympathy to the families of Billy Joe Matheny uh, and Kathy Gilly. Uh, and please continue to pray for uh, Joyce Grizzle. Uh, she lost her son last week. So uh, please keep all those folks in your prayers. Uh, got word that Daphne Anderson uh, may be getting to start some new treatment. Uh, so let's keep her, her in our prayers that, uh, that it will do some good. Uh, this morning we're going to be talking about uh, building a house. Uh, and uh, that's going to come from uh, Matthew chapter 7, and we're looking at verse 24, uh, and we're going to take off right there. Therefore, uh, whoever, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them will be likened uh, him into a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and the beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And uh, every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which buildeth his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and the beat upon the house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Um, so that's, uh, that's, we got, uh, uh, a lot of good, uh, advice right there. Uh, and, uh, but Jesus' uh, sermon here, uh, it's not so much concerned with the house, uh, constructions or, or building code violations. Uh, the spiritual meaning of the par parable, uh, Everyone who hears the words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house upon a rock. We are, uh, each of us, uh, building a life, and that's kind of the substituting a house for a, our life. The proper foundation for a life is Jesus' words, not just hearing them, but doing them. Uh, it seems at times that everything in this world is set up to make us turn away uh, from God's words and often our own feelings pull us toward uh, doing the exact opposite of what the Bible says. Uh, but a wise man will follow the words of God despite these pressures, not as a way to show off or earn salvation, uh, but because he trusts in God. Uh, all through the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus presented himself uh, as a final authority and a and fulfiller of the law. Uh, he ends the sermon with a call to heed his message and, in fact, uh, find one's security in him. Uh, as we follow the Lord, uh, learning to trust and obey him, we receive a reward. Uh, our house is steady uh, and solid, unshaken by circumstances. The wise man is a believer whose life is built upon the rock of, of Christ in this world. He has faith and hope that in the next everlasting life and, and love, uh, the wise man is like a tree planted by the riverside whose leaf does not wither. You know, the, the, the rain, you know, the uh, example of the rain is the things that, bad things that happen to us while we're in this life. When the rains beat down and the winds came, it blew the house down. Uh, he wouldn't, he didn't have his life built on Jesus Christ uh, and the good things that he would have us to do. Uh, we've got to build our house on Jesus. 
and we got to uh, maintain that relationship with Jesus by learning all the good stuff that he would have us to do. Uh, so my question for everyone is, where are you building your house? Are you building it on a rock or are you building it in the sand? Uh, so keep that in mind and uh, that's going to be my little lesson for today. Um, thank you for watching. Um, We'd like to keep our service men and women in your prayers. Uh, all those that are sick and you know, all those that were on our list here this morning. Uh, and uh, uh, pray for our, our uh, first responders and our doctors and nurses and all those uh, who take care of us and keep us healthy. Um, thank you for watching. God bless. See you next time.